Come here, buddy-o. We're ordering chickens. Oh, she's getting chickens? Yes. Today we took some time, we sat down, we already had an idea of what we wanted to get for the uh, poultry on the farm this year, but we needed to actually make the order. So while we were doing it, we paid attention to a couple things that we found helpful. We have a couple tips that maybe will help you out. You're gonna go out every day and every night, right? Take care of these birds. Marins, those are the chocolate egg layers. <laughs> Sound good, doesn't it? They don't really taste like chocolate. They're brown like chocolate. We talked about turkeys, right? You wanna get three turkeys. Let me show you the different colors. You like, so standard bronze. Three bronze, 12 right. All right, off you go. Tip number one, try to find a source with all the different kinds of birds that you want. So if you want ducks, turkeys, and chickens, make sure the source has all the ones you want before you get started ordering. That helps just for coordinating the shipping and the arrival and keeps all your information in one place so you don't forget that you've ordered chicks from one place and find out the day before they're coming that they're coming. We're gonna get 15 turkeys. We're gonna get five Pekings for meat, five Marin chickens, those are the brown chocolate colored egg layers. Those are gonna be for my daughter. We figure with our kids, it's nice to have a chicken that lays a color egg that will identify that egg as their own. Uh, so my son has the blue eggs and the green eggs. My daughter will have the dark chocolate eggs and anything in between will be our eggs. And that way they can sell their own eggs and uh, we can sell our eggs or keep our eggs and everybody's is easily sorted. Finally, we're gonna order five silver-laced wine dots for ourselves. Those sell very easy in our area, so if we wind up with too many chickens, we can get rid of a couple, and they're real pretty chickens. Another thing we do is we are sure to make an account at the hatchery that we're ordering from. That way, when the chicks come in a couple months and we forget what we ordered, we can always look up our account and see exactly what we ordered, how many of each, and what we have. A lot of places make you do that anyway, uh, but it is no it's a great feature and a benefit to buying them from, say, Tractor Supply. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that silver spangle, Appenzella, Spitzhauben is amazing. <laughs> How much are they? <laughs> They're so cheap! Silver spangle, Appenzella, Spitzhauben. <laughs> Third tip, make sure to work backwards from important dates. So if you're ordering meat birds, meat turkeys and chickens, pick your butcher day and then count backwards so that you order your chickens, your ducks and your turkeys all at the right time so you only have to go to the butcher once and not three different times. So we're gonna order 50 meat chickens. That gives us one chicken every week for the whole year to eat as a family. I'm gonna order them eight weeks from the turkey's butcher day. Turkeys need six months, so we'll order them for the beginning of March. And the meat chickens take eight weeks, so we'll order them at the beginning of July. Now I gotta actually order them so I don't miss out. So let's get ordering here. I like big ducks and I cannot lie. Be forewarned, there are certain times of the year where things will sell out quickly. Turkeys are selling out six months before Thanksgiving because that's when people want them to finish around Thanksgiving. So six months before Thanksgiving, a lot of people are going to be wanting birds. So try to beat that rush. Dang it, man. We missed out on the turkeys. Yes, it's a big deal. They're already sold out to April 2nd. That puts us a whole month behind. No! Oh. Check somewhere else? It's January right now. We're ordering and things are selling out like crazy. So you should be ordering now. If you're watching this video, pause. Finish watching the video and then order. Pink eggs. I want pink eggs. Pink eggs, that's awesome. Dorkings. Dorkings. Okay, we're looking for pink we're eggs. We're looking, honey. Tip number four. A lot of these websites and catalogs will have like a barnyard special. Fill up your barnyard with a select 
group of birds that will send you. I always want them. They sound really cool, but you don't know what you're getting, and if you have a small flock, you probably want to pick the actual birds you're going to have. So I would suggest, unless you do, really don't care at all, avoid the barn filler specials. What? Oh, chicken no. diapers. No. <laughs> so disturbing. The model of that chicken is so disturbing. Awful. Don't get a chicken. Don't say that. Oh. You're going to alienate people. You're right. I'm going to. We don't ever get the upsells. We don't get the, the medicines or the goo growers or anything. Vaccinations. Yeah. Vaccinations. <laughs> Another thing we make sure to pay attention to is whether we're ordering females, straight run. You like to be noisy today. Straight run means you're getting both males and females. So make sure if you're getting, for example, meat chickens, you might be fine with straight run. Males and females are okay. If you're getting egg laying chickens, don't get straight run because you'll get a lot of roosters and you don't want to have a lot of roosters. Pay attention to your quantity. Sometimes for one to four chickens, you'll be paying a higher price than you would be for five to 10. I order six. They're cheaper than if I order five. Not a big deal, one extra bird. I ordered 50 meat chickens. Okay. For 49 birds, it was more expensive than to buy 50 birds. So one extra chicken, and you'll probably wind up having at least a couple chickens die anyway. Yeah. Just bump it up so you get a little cheaper price. On that note. <laughs> You're gonna have chickens die anyway. My, my final tip is, my final tip, oh my God. <laughs> Just wanna say my final tip and get outside. Close that door. <laughs> Make sure when you're ordering to pay attention. Not all chickens are the same price. There's some rare breeds. No, the blue coppers. They're available. You want to get five blue coppers? We're only getting her five. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. that'd be what? Oh. We, whoa. That's a twenty that's a bucks twenty dollar check. check. No way. It's not worth it. Uh. Decide if it's worth it to you. If that's what you want, take really good care of that chick because the minute a fox comes, that's the one they're going to be grabbing. Trust me. <laughs> There's 20 bucks. Well, I hope these tips helped. Uh, we use generally the hatcheries we use are Murray McMurray, uh, Mount Healthy, or Meyer. Meyer, which this year, because of availability, we wound up going with Meyer for everything. So we'll see how our year goes with Meyer's chicks. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned, we'll be picking them up from the post office in the end of February, early March. We don't remember. Already, we need to log in and check our info. We never buy from a hatchery. We only buy local, free range, organically raised chicks. I prefer to only buy chicks that have been nursed by <laughs> the bosom of a woman. We never get the volume added. Volume. We never get volume. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Tip number four. Don't drop your spoon. Don't forget to describe. <laughs> don't, don't forget to describe what you're ordering. <laughs>